Hello, everybody. Welcome back to New Woodshire. I don't suppose we can really call it new anymore at this point, can we? Welcome back to Old Woodshire. Ooh, we missed him, but he didn't think we were gonna miss him. Goodness gracious. Look at this guy just break checking us just to be break checking us. We're super popular with the uh, traffic uh, around here. Very big hit. They they do enjoy us a lot. And that's what we tell ourselves anyways. So look, we got a new toy. We got a lot of toys. Oh yeah, great. It's over. We did it. The Great Slot War of 2019 is over. We won. We got it. Thanks to the help of you guys and uh, knowing exactly what you're talking about. We were, we saved like 130 slots this morning. We finally sold our silo that uh, Super Trucker told us about, which was indeed 67 slots. That freed up a whole lot of room. And a while ago, Mr. B Gaming had told me about the garages that I was using. The shelters with the garage trigger in them. And he said that they, at the time, they were like 40 slots. Well, I went and checked, and just like with the silos, I guess because I owned them, it only said they were 4 slots, so... I never did anything about them, but after I figured out that I was so wrong about the, uh, ooh, I thought maybe I'd be able to get this header in that door right there. <laughs> that's not the case, is it? Goodness. I've seen me drive. That's not a, not a thing we can pull off. Anyways. Uh, whoa, maybe. Oh, baby. We're going to tear something up for sure. Let's sneak it right in there. Yeah. Like we meant to do it. Uh, now what do you do? Huh. This is all gone horribly wrong here. Anyways. So yeah, we uh, we picked up 130 slots. We got rid of our garages. We have to figure out something workshop related. We're kind of hanging out in the air on that one, but. Like I said, we got 130 slots. Man, we can we can do whatever we want, and we have went hog wild. Uh, as you can see, we got a new messy 7700 here, pulling our new Helianthus header, which I cannot back up in that corner back there. Anyways, we only got a couple more seconds of this before I, I rage quit. Anyways, so. Uh, <laughs> we got this new toy, that new toy. We're going going for a little change here. Jockey Inc. is going through some uh, growth spurts, growing pains. Not sure how to say it. But uh, we got one of those. Yep. Just uh, our chief counsel there said that uh, we should probably do that if we're looking for something that's going to pull that Great Plains. Quit messing around, is what he said, basically. It's a lot cheaper, and it has the horsepower. So, you know what? You're right. It says Big Bud on it, but it's a Little Bud. I guess that's a relative term, right? As long as there is no bigger Bud standing beside it, that is indeed the Big Bud. So, we got one of those. Oh, look, we got another Great Plains. Like I said, we went all in. So we got one hooked up to the Challenger. We got one hooked up to Little Bud. We are going all arable. We're getting rid of all of our grass equipment. And we are going to outsource the grass and uh, TMR for the cows. We'll take care of everything for the pigs. Uh, that'll be part of our rotation still. But we're talking to our good buddy Julian down at the store. And when Julian is not taking all our money and uh, sticking it in that little cash register he's got back there. He actually runs uh, an industrial TMR factory for uh, for his cattle, so he has definitely has the output to take care of us. So he made us an offer we can't refuse, and we're just going to outsource that stuff. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, we don't uh, these things over here; they're gone. The mixer, I think we can still get right at eighty thousand dollars for that thing. We can sell it for. Uh, no need for that anymore. And go ahead and sell the baler too. I'm going to keep the loading wagon so that we'll have a way to move straw around when we do wheat. Uh, we will still have the straw swap on for 
the animals, but yeah, we got all this hay right here. I'm going to pick this up, sell it to Julian. Uh, we've already made a kind of a deal on that, so I'll scoop that up and take it down to him, sell that real quick. And then we're going to start plowing this. This is going to be sunflowers. Uh, this is going to be sunflowers as well. So we got uh, just about as far as you can see that way. We have this field just about, well, it's to the road over there as far as you can see this way. And we're going to have to come up with some more money to buy the rest of those, but they're starting to get expensive down that way, getting into some big, big fields. So it may be a harvest or two before we can pull that off. But uh, like I say, I've never, as long as I've owned this game in the last game, uh, never done a, an only arable farm. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We certainly got the equipment to pull it off anyways, don't we? My goodness. There are some tractors around here. We got slurry spreaders. We got it all, buddy. We are going whole hog. I like it. Looking good, dude. All shiny. I like it before they get all muddy. Looking sharp. So, uh, let's see. What we're going to do. We are going to take this bad boy. Ooh, I know what we need to do real quick. Or the price changes anymore we need to sell a load of milk the price was through the roof last time we looked but it had capped it did stop going up so uh, if we skip the night which it is just about time for us to go home for the evening if we skip the night that price won't be there in the morning so we will go ahead 31,400 and I think we hold 32,000 so that's close enough to full for us uh, definitely take advantage of the price we got 1400 and something 1462 and like I say the price has stopped hey and we don't have to unload on the train tracks this time so we are super excited about that we're gonna do it from the safety of uh, asphalt how about that like uh, like the good lord intended I'm pretty excited We'll take that. We'll make that money. Uh, we are also going to take the animal trailer, fill it full of pigs. I forget how many we can hold. Maybe 12? Maybe? Question mark? Whatever it holds, we're going to fill up that number of bacon and we're going to sell them. So uh, They're up over almost a 90 pigs is what we have now. So We filled the food troughs up with everything we have and now we're going to sell them off. So... Uh, wait, this way, yeah. I forget where I am sometimes. Eh, ever happened to you? Happened to me. I seen it. I was there. Alright, let's see. Central Green Elevator, I believe that's that big green thing up there. That's where we're going to start dump dumping a bunch of milk anyway. I hope they're ready for it. And uh, let's see what else we're going to do today. Oh, we got a... Well... Like I say, it's, it's afternoon, so we'll probably skip the night, probably catch back up with you in the morning. We have to finish planting sunflowers. The wheat is all in the ground. It is growing and fully fertilized, so not much we can do on that front. But now that we have all these plans, we have to scoop up the hay, give it to Julian, and then we have to finish planting sunflowers. So we got quite a bit of field left to go. Uh, as far as our one super field there, we're about halfway through planting that one. Uh, I'll turn John loose on that with the big bud, and we will take the Challenger. Miss right now, that's what Andrew called it, our tractor of the day. And we'll take that one and run across the road there to 14 and 15, get those planted. We keep on buying articulated tractors, we're going to have to change the name of this farm. I'm thinking we're going to call it something like Wiggle Bottom Farms or something. What do you think? Got them old Wiggle Bottom tractors. Just go wiggling out through the field. What does that say? $45,000. My goodness. Wow. Good stuff right there. High quality milk. I'm speechless. All right. We're going to take our money and run, buddy. All right, well, let me hightail it back to the farm before anybody realizes how many zeros they put on that check and get this thing unhooked and washed out. 
Well, yeah, I probably won't even unhook it because I uh, need the cows need water anyway. Might as well fill up the pigs while we're at it. And I will run over there and see if we can sell some pigs. I think we got time to do that this evening. We got sun's getting a little low, but that's all right. I think we can do it. All right. Anyways, let me go do that. Uh, give the cows some water here, and I'll be right back. All right. Well, let's make a little money. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. It's almost as much fun as spending it. It's way more fun. 135? I think we only paid 155 for that baler. Wasn't even sure it would pick it up all the way out there. That's pretty good. 54,000? Man. Holding our value on some stuff. We must have a pretty good maintenance department here. $90,000. How much is that thing brand new? Doesn't matter, does it? It's gone. We're up to what? 344000 And what we're going to do with that money... <laughs> it's not going to be pay the bank back, is it? Let's see, that one's 155 That one's 196 One of these... Already has sunflowers in it. 17. Excuse me. All right, there you go. We just bought us another sunflower field there. Uh, 155, we have 148. It won't be long before we are just land barons here. We are gonna own everything. Digging it, I like it. All this got started because of one ideal harvester. <laughs> Funny how things gonna spitball there, isn't it? All right, let's grab our new manure spreader, take it back with us, and let's go get some piggies. Go get the trailer, we'll load up with some piggies, take them and sell them. I think we're at a place where we can comfortably sell 10 pigs a day, so that's 10 grand a day. That is nothing to scoff at there. And we're getting close to making a full tanker full of milk every day. Uh, at least every second day. So that was, what, 45000 I think we made off that one? It won't be that high every time, obviously. But, um, look, it's empty here without that silo. I didn't even know where I was going, did I? Just, we're going to have to do something there. That looks weird. Anyways, all right, let's see here. Let's drop this thing off. We'll come park all this stuff later. We need to get some manure for the greenhouses, too. Giving up money here. I don't like that. This thing's they suck it right up. All right, so I don't know exactly. I think maybe 12 pigs is what this thing holds, but we're going to fill it up anyways. Let's see. I think we do it yeah, right here. So we'll fill this one up, many as we can put in there. Oops, trailer is full and confirm. That's three, six, yeah, 12 of them in there. So we'll go make our $12,000. Wait, let's see, we'll go this way. Oh, this should be exciting. Uh, I think it's up here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Come on, bacon. Like, bacon has a choice, right? Mm -mm. I know we could get there left, but that wouldn't be any much fun, would it? No. Let's see if we can get stuck here. I better get out of there. It's a bad camera angle when you don't know where you're going. So eventually we want this field up here, too. This field is 300 and some thousand. It is expensive. But look at it. Uh, it's a monster, isn't it? So we already own from right there all the way back to our farm. And we're close to having the right side over here. We got this field just to my left. That's our sunflower field we just bought. And the other one over there is the, uh, the one we're only five or seven thousand away from buying. Man, 
I'm pretty excited about owning all this land. Uh, yeah, I forget where to take these guys. Oh yeah, right there. Whoa, coming in hot. Watch out there. Animal transporter. 12000 dollars I like it. That means they leave us with there. Eighty-five. If we did twelve more, it would be seventy-three. Hmm. Nah, better not. Uh we'll leave it right there. We can do twelve a, a day. Yeah, that's probably better. We'll just leave it right where it's at just so the uh, reproduction time stays up there. No sense getting greedy. We start doing two loads a day. Uh, yeah, we won't. We'll start messing with the math there. We don't want to do that. We're not smart enough to pull that off. So, All right, now we got to go finish some planting. we got some things to do here this morning. Let's get these sunflowers all in the ground, and then we can focus on our chores. Oh, watch out. He's coming, isn't he? I thought he would stop, but not the case. Put us a little entrance in right there, too. All right, let's see. What, what are we doing here? Oh, we got to get the big boys out. All right, let's see. We'll get John in the big bud here. We will turn him loose to our left, where it's nice and flat and straight. Let's fire it up. We'll go get it all warmed up for him. Hmm, how do we get out of here? It's all little skinny gates everywhere. Ah, there we go. Can we get through there? Oh boy. Yeah, look at that. Alright. So he should be able to just point this thing in one direction and take off there. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start on 14 here. Run it over to 15 and then we will let John take over on 15. And hopefully we will be done with the super field by then. We're going to jump in the challenger, finish off the field over here that John got started yesterday. Well, I say got started. He did most of it. Uh, just got some end pieces to figure out there. Middle pieces actually, but... No longer in a straight line, so we'll we'll take care of that and let John do this. And jump right there. Drop it back down. Perfect. Alright. Let him do that. We will run back across the road here. Uh oh, I need to get the challenger in here. We got the grass or the hay picked up and sold. I uh, sold that to Julian to help with his stockpile for his TMR factory. And we need to get in here and plow that up. Hmm. Let's go ahead and plant first. I want all these sunflowers in the ground first. And then, uh, then we'll worry about doing some more field work. We've done enough plowing and culty plowing. All, yeah, tired of seeing that thing for a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So basically, yeah, we just got this right in front of us. The edges of the field are all done, and everything to our left from there over is done. So, good shape. He left us in good shape. Well, that was kind of odd. I'm not sure what happened there. All right. Uh, tractor was doing a little moonwalking. The old, oh, did I hire a worker? Yeah. I knew something looked weird about that. I tried to set the cruise and drop it down, and we got a worker hired. All right, we'll fire that dude. We can handle this, can't we? All right, so we got this going. We will be done. Just a few more passes will be done here. And I guess we'll break out the cultivator across the road there. Um, shouldn't need to be plowed. I don't think we'll check the map to be sure, but I think 
uh, because it is a mowed grass field, it should take care of the plowed state. So we should be able to just uh, cultivate it up, get it planted. That's what we're telling ourselves anyways. Mm. Man, what a field. I love looking at this. Like, this is going to be a lot of fun to harvest. We might have to lease out another, a second ideal harvester there. Of course, we did get the Helianthus header, so we're going to be going, <laughs> we're going to be cruising through here. We'll be running nine miles an hour when we come through here harvesting, so it shouldn't take too long at all. I think we're going to be all right. So, yeah, there we go. I think, I think that'll call it for a morning there. Uh, John is planting over there. I'm going to finish planting here. We have a little bit of cultivating to do and some manure to stick in the greenhouses. But other than that, yeah, I think we got this thing covered. So let's call it right there, right? Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>